I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. Two Christians, Peter and Paul, which a good thing weren't canceled. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love our videos, if you love us passing the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Get the app, iTunes, Google, Amazon, and donate your tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps the gospel in the ears of the church's youth. And they need this gospel in this time. So do you. So, today is St. Peter and St. Paul Day. Two utter and complete failures in their life who God turned around into being something spectacular. Peter, three times denier of Jesus to a servant girl. Really scary stuff there. Um, he claimed to not have known Jesus. Cursed in the third denial, I do not Peep and know him. Set himself outside the faith. Paul, named Saul, persecuted the Christians. Not even an attempt to catch it. Persecuted the Christians. Murdered Stephen. Oversaw the murdering of Saint Stephen. The Lord knocked him off his horse. See what I did there to save him. The two greatest evangelists, preachers, missionaries in the Christian church, both had low moments. One, a denier, setting himself outside the faith. The other, a persecutor and a murderer. In this culture that we live in today, would they be canceled? Both are said to have died for their faith in Rome. Paul, a citizen unable to, of Rome, unable to be crucified, was executed under Nero uh, by beheading. And Peter, not a citizen, crucified, uh, but not right side up. No, he did not want his... Um, he did not believe himself to be equal to being crucified as the Lord was crucified. And so he was crucified upside down, stretching out his arms and going to a place where he doesn't want to go. Ooh, I just missed. They died for their faith. Supposedly, on the same day, this day, the 29th of June. Both, turned, the Lord turned their lives around. The Lord changed them, used them. They were tools in his hands. And the thing to remember in all of this is Paul was an enemy of the faith. And Peter set himself outside the faith. And in this time where one mistake sets you in a complete downward spiral where everything about you or life should be canceled. Christ doesn't do canceling. He does saving. Peter, do you love me? Feed my sheep. Peter, do you love me? Tend to my lambs. Peter, do you love me? Feed my sheep. And even though Peter, in all of that exchange, never reaches agape love, he can only say, I'm your best bud. I phileo you, Jesus. We're brothers. Still Jesus saved him. Still Jesus used him. And even though Paul was more zealous in, in the extermination of the Christian faith more than anyone else, God called him missionary to the Gentiles to bring his gospel to the ends of the earth. Think about this the next time you're tempted to cancel someone who failed to boycott something that has gone a different way than yours, than you go. For God saves losers 
persecutors, murderers, and failures. He also saves people the likes of you and me. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and a blessed St. Peter and St. Paul Day, and this has been another Higher Things video short.